everyone, I'm working on some other larger projects right now, so quick video this week. I've seen some people asking how much of an impact cabin overheat protection has on battery state of charge over the course of a hot day. Basically, they're asking, you know, if I park my car at work outside on a hot day, how much range am I going to lose by the time I get out to my car to drive home? This isn't going to be the most scientific video, but let's give it a try and find out. I started yesterday by parking the Model 3 in my garage, and I noted the state of charge at about 9.30 a.m., and then noted it again at about 5.30 p.m. Between those two times, I did not check in with the mobile app, I did not sync the Bluetooth key, it just sat here all day. And it's important to note that my garage doesn't get warm enough to activate cabin overheat protection. During this time, the car went from 164 rated miles to 163 rated miles, so one rated mile lost. It's about 9.30 a.m. now, so the plan is to back the car down the driveway, facing west, leave it out there in the sun all day like it would be in an open parking lot, and uh, then find out how much energy it loses by 5.30 p.m. As with yesterday, I won't interact with the car at all. I won't check in with the app. It will just be sitting there with cabin overheat protection enabled. And I'll set up a GoPro in here to do a little time lapse. And um, I've got this ridiculous thermometer that I'll just hang in here so that you'll be able to kind of see cabin overheat protection working, hopefully. Let's get started. Well, looks like the GoPro died, but we're at 150 rated miles. I'm starting to lose light, so I'm going to make this quick. When I started the experiment this morning, the car was at 162 rated miles as its state of charge. When I went out to check on the car eight hours later, it was at 150 rated miles, and I also discovered that my GoPro had quit working again. I really need to figure out what's up with that thing. According to the forecast, we were supposed to see a high of 97 degrees Fahrenheit today. So after leaving the car outside in the sun on a fairly warm day, cabin overheat protection only cost about 12 rated miles, or 4-ish percent. All in all, that's not too bad, considering that it prevents the cabin from turning into an oven. Obviously, this is just one data point, so if we wanted to establish, in a more general sense, the amount of energy that cabin overheat protection uses, I'd need to do a lot more tests. But if nothing else, this is an interesting data point. Anyway, that's about it for this video. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those down in the comments below. Don't forget to rate and subscribe, and I'll see you later.